welcome back to my channel, Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, as well as feel free to give this video a thumbs up at the end if you enjoy this review and unboxing, as well as do not forget to leave me any comments or questions that you guys may have after this video. And as always, don't forget to hit that notification bell as we do have a ton of heat coming out and tomorrow we will have a halloween special that you guys will have something to look forward to so don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know as soon as that is up and out all right so first up if you guys didn't guess already these are the off-white jordan 5 retro sales i've done a few jordan 5s in the past so if you guys haven't already go back watch those videos so i do give a bit more history on this specific silhouette uh, but today we are going to be doing the overview on the off-white sales so after that we're going to get into some sizing then we're going to get into some shade today i know some of you love my shade talking then we're gonna follow that up with some styling. If you guys saw already from the thumbnail, that's right. That is a few pieces from the new drop two list from the Fear of God Essentials collection. Uh, so after that, we're gonna conclude with a little bit of resale and talk about how these shoes are currently doing on the market. All right, let's get into the overview. I really wanna start with this box because I think this is a very unique box I haven't seen before. These shoes are called the sails, and I don't know, this is very reminiscent of what a cruise ship or a boat would look like, the windows on it at least. You can see that the box actually has that going on all around it. Got the clear little windows going on each side of the box. And then these shoes actually came nicely wrapped in this packaging with that cool jump man inside haven't seen this wrapping before so it was a nice little surprise to open it up and not see the usual wrapping paper all right now let's get into the overview of the shoe Alrighty, so the Jordan 5 Retro Off-White sales definitely are drawing some inspiration from our beloved Fire Red silhouette. But of course, this is Virgil's take on it as this is his collab. And I love actually what I'm seeing here in the details. So let's get into the details starting with the laces. So right now, these were laced already with the cream ivory tone laces that have the quotes that we're so used to seeing on Virgil's collabs. It says shoelaces. I love that we also have other options as well. So we've got it in the black as well as the red. Kind of fill in the cream right now. I don't know. It's kind of more of a neutral set of laces that I feel like is going to be great for some of my fall outfits that I've kind of got in my collection. Uh, but I don't know. I may decide to kind of mix it up and go with one of the other colors. We'll see. As I'm looking at the shoe as well, I'm seeing that this has a lot of deconstructed details going on. So this is something I'm starting to see a lot with Nike on a lot of my different silhouettes I've been getting, but it's this deconstruction that's going on top of the tongue, for instance, as well as we're seeing that deconstruction all the way throughout the top of the collar of the shoe and as well as the sides here on the heel. So definitely giving it some aged look. So potent patina is, or patina, patina is going on throughout the shoe. Patina is more verbiage for like an aged effect. So definitely getting this age kind of retro vibe going on with the coloring scheme of the shoe. So this is actually, you know what, what I'm, let me see if I can, I'm gonna grab another Jordan 5 so you guys can actually see what has happened here. They actually took out the padding that we're used to seeing here on the ankles. They stripped that padding away. So I actually, I love this because it definitely gives this silhouette a more slimmer kind of feel to it. And we've got this kind of transparency going on here in the sides where you can actually see through there. 
That's so crazy. I mean, this is one of the details that I know I'm like, oh, definitely Jordan 5 because of the ankle cushioning going on here right there. It's like extremely padded and there's no padding on this one. So it looks like Virgil decided to take that out as well as we've got, you know, kind of a hole as well. Looks like we've got kind of a signature thing going on here, all these holes going on. You can like see through there on the tongue. We've got that reflective uh, TPE tongue going on in that silver metallic-y color with a nicely embroidered jump man in that red colorway. We've got some yellow TPE. We like material a synthetic kind of textile going on here. This is interesting, this texture as I'm feeling it. It almost feels like Velcro. It's kind of crazy, it's, it's very rough. So I actually read that you can actually take parts of this mesh that's wrapping around the medial and lateral side of the shoe. You can actually take that off with a straight edge and our exacto knife and remove that for a different look if you wanted to i'm definitely going to leave it on because me and exacto knife i don't know i feel like i would damage this shoe for sure but this retro kind of vintage looking shoe is definitely i feel like giving this shoe a nod to the 30 years that there's been a legacy of the jordan shoes and it's really kind of stepping into the future generation of what these shoes are starting to continue to be trending and looking like and definitely giving it a very deconstructive look that we're not used to seeing through here we've got that homage that we're used to seeing with the off-white we've got that organ underneath there you can actually barely see the rest of it but yeah Beaverton Oregon on the side there and we've got the 23 on the lateral side and it looks like we've got the 23 on that side as well of course another circular kind of transparent hole there on each side as well it's almost like he made this shoe like a ship and those are the windows of the ship very different then we have the black and red midsole detailing which is unaltered from the og fire red silhouette that we're used to seeing on that color scheme then we've kind of got a yellowed outsole and yellowed eye stays here and a yellowed tag definitely a more vintage coloring scheme than what i've seen before all right and then our pull tab has also got that yellowed color here in the lace lock system not pull tab lace lock system that's yellowed and it's got kind of that nice shiny red hue to it and then we've got the nike air on the back showing through that in the black color way and the insoles are black and red it just has that nike air and the air jordan embroidery on that detail on the inside of that tongue all right guys, so let's talk about sizing. I did not change my sizing on this specific silhouette. I typically am a men's 7.5, so I stayed true to that size. I didn't feel like this specific shoe because it was a collab was any different. Uh, so I would say stick true to your size. Again, for those of you who don't know the type of foot that I have is that can vary your sizes. I do have very narrow feet with high arches, so definitely you know, if you have flat feet versus, you know, more fuller foot, it could change the sizing proportions on what shoe you should specifically go for. But definitely stay true to your size if you have a similar foot in my proportion. All right, so now let's get into a little bit of shade, you guys. Um, so I actually got an interesting message uh, on one of my latest videos and um, since we're about to go into the styling section, I did style one of my newest Supreme pieces and this individual decided to tell me that Supreme was specifically made only for men. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that um, 
Supreme is not specifically for men. I don't think that when you go to purchase a Supreme item, they load a option box of, please tell me, are you female or male? If you're a female, we're sorry, but we're not gonna sell our products to you. And oh, by the way, we made a lipstick called Pat McGrath, and I don't know, I guess that wasn't meant for females either. So definitely, if you are coming to my channel and you don't believe that females should be wearing hype sneakers, you don't believe that females should be wearing hype clothes, I don't even know why you're in my channel for the first place. I'm not trying to catfish you with a fake woman on the front page of each one of my videos. Why would I do that? It's a female, obviously, in Supreme clothing, in hype shoes. So if you're coming to my channel and you don't want to see a female in these products, there are plenty of other channels for you to go to. So that guy has been removed from the channel. For anyone who comes to my channel as well, who doesn't feel that females should be rocking any hype gear, then I think there's plenty of other channels for you to watch, but I'm not forcing you once again to sit there and watch my content. You have the freedom to watch whatever you want. And that's my shade today. All right, so now let's hop into some styling. I wanna talk about the Fear of Gods second drop that dropped actually today at 11 o'clock on the dot. Uh, I was able to actually get some items online, but I did go downtown in Soho to pick up some items. I know it was a crappy day again out here and it was freezing outside. It felt like 32 degrees, oh my God. What's up, Paxson? Picked up a couple items for today. Hopefully we can use some of this for the styling haul. Not gonna lie guys, as we creep colder here in the city, I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to do more of these lookbooks outside because it's getting brutally cold. But uh, luckily I was able to find some warm options to style the sails with. So let's jump into talking about how I styled it. All right, let's talk about the Fear of God drop that happened today. I was pretty much sitting in a weight room on PacSun since 10 o'clock. That's right, they allowed you to get into the weight room an hour before, because I honestly had no clue what time it was dropping because on the Fear of God site, it said dropping tomorrow at like 11 p.m. dot, dot, dot. Like, uh, what, is, what does that mean? So anyways, I managed to cop uh, two items online in the oatmeal colorway that you guys aren't gonna see here, but I did the half pull zip in the oatmeal with the sweatpants to match. I'm excited about that. It's a little bit bummed because I had no idea they were gonna be dropping sweaters, but by the time I realized it, it was already sold out. So I decided to go and see if they had anything in store in Soho today, but I was a little late because I had to get like my 90th COVID-19 test. My God, guys, I have tested four times this week, four times for work, four times. And I literally am testing more than nurses are doing in the hospitals to be a model, which is like mind blowing, it's crazy. But I'm negative for the 80th time. So good to know, I guess, right? Cause I get to get tested four more times next week. And my, uh, my head's starting to feel a little off because they really go up there and it's like the longest 10 seconds of your life, I swear. Uh, so anyways, let's get into the styling. Talk about the first look, which was obviously from the Fear of God collection for Essentials drop two list. Uh, these are items I managed to get into this in the store and they're both the Moss colorway. First up was the half zip pullover and I'm obsessed with the Essentials line. It's so comfortable, but I haven't actually seen this half pull up zip before. So it was definitely excited. I snagged the last small in store. If I came five minutes later, I probably wouldn't have been able to get that. Um, and then I also snagged another pair of pants that were kind of like hidden off in the corner. And I was like, yo, like, is anybody gonna buy those? And I got those in the size medium. Those pants are track pants. They're half nylon, half cotton. They're pretty thin. And so my mindset was thinking to just like layer them in the winter time. So I'm probably gonna just put those on top of my sweatpants to keep the rain off of them. And they're pretty lightweight, so it'll be great for the summertime as well. It wasn't the exact moss coloring scheme, even though they are both called moss in, on the tags, 
but for some reason, I don't know, it just worked well. And I feel like with this specific coloring scheme, with that yellow vintage look, it really went well with that entire Fear of God Essentials look. been so terrified of someone so unqualified undignified disqualified you are disqualified you have not earned my love or trust the story was always about you everything has always been about you as did you miss me a bit with everyone else a guru with no followers a lover with no love or a brother with no brother as did you miss me a busy talking to yourself a guru with no followers a lover with no love or a brother with no brother you are disqualified from my life you have not earned my love or trust Although all right, so for the second look, I decided to go with a full-on off-white outfit. So I've got on my off-white long sleeve and it's got some nice yellow hues on it. There's lots of yellowing going on in the shoe. So I love that I was able to bring together a shirt with some yellow on it as well. I paired it with some just plain white off-white sweatpants that have that kind of red taping detail on the side. Of course, there's red details going on this shoe, so I feel like these were the perfect pants to really pair with this collab. I've been waiting for the day that you come see me again You want to rip into me like I rip into these pages Put me under your spell lurking behind doors You're traumatizing me Who could you mistake me for Since you think we're the same person The same poison You are disqualified All right, so for the last and final look, I decided to go with, as you guys know, my newest Supreme clothing item, the mountain jacket. Uh, I'm in love with this jacket. It was pouring raining all day today. So out of all the items I was wearing outside, that was the most comfortable, the most warm, but obviously it's got lots of red in there and there's lots of red accents going on in the shoe that I really wanted to accentuate with that coat. And I wore that with just some plain yoga pants, which probably not the best idea because I was freezing. So now you go questioning your humanity That's why you're so used to being a victim But you're not my problem You are disqualified from my life You and I earned my love or trust Although you think you must You are disqualified from my life My god, I might as well just walk around in shorts since it was like 32 degrees outside today and the wind was insane it's way too freaking cold outside oh my god as i don't know when it hits 20 below i don't know if these outdoor look books are gonna, gonna be happening gonna have to get pretty uh i don't know smart with locations thank god for this coat though it's really warm my god i can't stand the wind in the winter the wind is the worst part of the winters here in new york it is the worst i swear to all of you it's so bad 
Anyways, let me know out of those three looks, what was your favorite, as well as how would you style these shoes? Now let's get into the resale, talk about how these shoes are currently doing. All right, so let's talk about how much these shoes currently retail for. These went for $225 and currently on the base sizes, so sizes four to eight are going around $600. The larger sizes are doing a bit better on the resale market. So an eight and a half to size 15 are going between 650 to $700. So definitely a little bit on the pricier end if you were not able to cop these for retail, um, but definitely some money to be made if you are into the resale game. All right, you guys, thanks again so much for tuning into my channel, Shea TV. Again, if you're new to my channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button, as well as leave me any comments or questions that you guys may have on what we spoke about today on the sales would love to hear from you and as always give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it thumbs ups do go a long ways and do not forget to hit that notification bell guys because guess what we've got a special halloween edition video for you all to watch tomorrow and i don't want you to miss it so if you hit that bell it'll alert you as soon as we have that video uploaded and ready to go all right guys my name is marissa hill this is shay tv we will see you on the next video